What's up, everybody? Remington Beck from Impulse Creative, and I'm excited today to talk to you about a drift tutorial on how to set a targeted message based on a UTM parameter that you would use in Google Play Per Click or even from a HubSpot track URL. So first step is you're gonna want to build out your playbook in Drift. And with that playbook, I've got one pointed out here that you can start from and we can dig in in just a second. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to the playbook sections in Drift. Once you get to the playbook section in Drift, you're going to create the playbook that is drive traffic with a targeted message on your homepage. When you click create playbook, It'll take just a second. It's gonna build out all of this awesomeness where you're gonna have your, your message. It's going to allow for you to show what the overall goal is, and it's gonna allow for you to adjust the targeting. So when we get into the playbook, you'll see you've got your announcement. The announcement is broken up with the trigger that is going to pop out and show people and then of course the follow-up message and you can have a lot of fun with this you can use emojis you can put in giphies you can do a lot of things to engage the user to take the next step a lot of times pop-up messages can kind of get a bad rap and it's because someone puts out a blanket message to all people that are visiting the site the whole point of this tutorial is to make it hyper hyper contextual based on the individual UTM parameters that you have set. So once you go through and edit the message, we'll do that shortly, you can then go into the targeting. And the targeting is very important. So what we're doing for this tutorial is doing it based off of a tracking URL. And so we use HubSpot here at Impulse Creative. So we'll pull this up and you'll see, you can either create a new tracking URL or you can use an existing one if you know you're gonna be doing certain campaigns. What I've done is I've copied the text from the full tracking URL here, and I've pulled it up in Notepad. So you'll notice that this is to one of our blog posts about conversational marketing. You'll see you have the UTM parameter, you have the UTM source, you have the medium, and you also have the term, right? So this particular item was for mastering HubSpot podcast that I was just on talking about conversational marketing. So. What we want to do is we want to hyper target a message to anyone that has the UTM term mastering HubSpot. And of course, you could go a little bit more broad even with the UTM campaign um, or the, even the source. It's really up to you. So for the sake of this, we're going to go ahead and copy the UTM term and then we're going to go back over to Drift and we're going to click on the display conditions. So right now, the display conditions for this is that the URL path is the home page. We're going to want to go ahead and erase that and we're going to want to add a condition. When you are in the condition here, you'll notice that there are some different parameters. We do want to do the one on the URL and if by going through and clicking the URL, you'll see you have a variety of options. The options are broken down here, but what we want to do is base, do it based off of the URL query parameter. So if we go ahead and click that option and essentially what we can do is we want to set this to includes and this is where you would paste in the UTM parameter that we just brought in and make sure that it has the UTM term equals and exactly what shows up in the URL. So once you've got that in there, you can go ahead and press close. If you want to break down the conditions even deeper, you can, um, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just doing it based on the UTM parameter. You can go ahead and press close here. You'll see that it'll have a confirmation with the UTM term mastering HubSpot. And then what you can do is you can go back to your announcement. You can edit your overall announcement and you can go ahead and click enable playbook. When you click enable playbook, it's gonna take your message and it is going to make it so that it only shows up for that particular ad. Um, and I will show you an example of what that looks like for for the sake of this demo, I'm gonna go ahead and unpublish this and save changes. And then what I'll do is we'll just come through here and we'll show you how this works on the front end. So if we go back to this URL, go ahead and initiate that. And you'll see that this takes us to our blog post, talks about conversational marketing. And once Drift loads, it's going to pop up and it's gonna show it in the bottom right. And it's gonna say, howdy, nice to see you fellow mastering HubSpot subscriber. 
So this allows for you to kind of engage your audience without being too pushy. And of course, if you click into that, you know, we give George B. Thomas from the Mastering HubSpot podcast a nice shout out. So if you have any other questions about this or you want any other tutorials on how to use Drift or increase your engagement with conversational marketing, give me a holler. You can hit me up on Twitter at, at Remington Beg, or you can jump on the website and shoot me a message. Thanks so much.